right, here we go, another day. Living the dream, living the dream. So, first job for me, two buckets to go and deliver to um, Wakefield, uh, to a repeat customer. Proper nice guy, does good buying off us for years, and it's a joy when these people just keep coming back. And it's almost like they don't even ask the price of these, just we want two of these to man them. So, um, get loaded, and uh, get them all, yeah. Get them loaded and uh, get them away. That's the first one. It's about a bit crooked there, isn't it? That's not a very good advert for loading, is it? A bit crooked. Straight out. That's better. Not a good advert for that, was it? Big buckets loaded. <coughs> Put the track down and uh, we'll get away. Just walking past the paint shop and I think Gary's doing wheels today. I'll show you. <laughs> How are we doing, Gary? All right. <laughs> are, you sp <laughs> are you spraying wheels today by any chance? I am, unfortunately. Look at that lot, eh? Look at that lot. What was that going, sorry? They're all done and out of way for another little while. Look at that. You see? No detail left unturned. That's quite a good uh, row of wheels there, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. How long did that take you, Gary? Spray that lot. Best part of the day was drying. Two coats. Turn them over, two coats of primer, turn them over, two coats of primer, two coats still, turn them back, and the faces get three coats. So you do them properly? Oh, yes. Yeah. There you go. That was a good answer, Gary, especially if you were on the, <laughs> with the camera in there. <laughs> good answer. But he's, he's the right answer. We do them properly anyway. Right, I'll leave you in peace. Thank you. Right, pouring down the rain again. Good old spring weather, lovely. Anyway, pouring down the rain, and I've just come out here, and uh, oh, there's a man who's been helping us. Thank you very much. Cheers. There's a man who's been helping us do something. Be good, you know. I just come out here in the pouring rain, and there's Paul hooving out a fuel tank in the pouring rain. Nothing stops you, does it, Paul? Track had it at Orlick, that's been fixed. So we're doing all right, and Paul's, Paul's been cleaning out a fuel tank, so uh, in the pouring rain. Look at that, so uh, that's dedication for you, isn't it? So we do value that, we do value that. Right, time to get on. All right, I'm just driving up the A1 behind a Shaman's low loader. And look at that brand new JCB telehandler on there. And I bet you that has got a pin and cone headstock. I know exactly where that, that telehandler is going today. Exactly where that telehandler is going. Um, stay tuned to find out. Well, can you guess who that new telehandler is for? Um, <laughs> I do know where it's going. It's purely by chance I bumped into it on the road there. But, um, it's young Joe Seals, his new telehandler. And I think I've actually seen it before he has now. So um, he will be pleased about that. I think he'll be pleased about getting a new telehandler. So uh, I have no doubt, no doubt whatsoever, you'll be seeing it on YouTube in the next few, well, today, tomorrow, 
Saturday, you were, yeah, it'll be on there a lot. Anyway, you won't see him. Anyway, Joe's got his new telly out there. It's five, it's, that was about five minutes away from his farm. It, um, there was, so uh, I have no doubt we'll see a very happy Joe. But hopefully we'll see a happy Joe today. So, no. Right, I've just come down to our customers' premises. And this customer, a friend of ours, we've known him for years, and he buys a lot of stuff from us. But anyway, the revamp in their workshop. And I have never seen a parts nut and bolt storage system as well presented as this. So I'm going to film it. I'll tell you. Have a look at this. Just look at this. This is in a 20 foot shipping container, right? Been ply lined. Even the lights on PIR. But look at this nut and bolt rack. Look, absolutely fantastic. What? And you can see what's in them. I'm just blown away. I've never seen it seen anything like this before. Smaller ones here, a few bits and pieces, nuts, bolts. Then over here, you've got they get bigger and bigger still for bigger for nuts and bolts. So I just think it's amazing. So <laughs> I may be waffling, but I just think this is what what a nut and bolt storage system that is. So. I think this, uh, there we go, I'll step back in it a bit more. Look at that lot, that is fantastic. So uh, I'm actually blown away with it. I think it's uh, what a super job. And everyone's labelled up as well. That M2 washers. Look at that. There you go, anyway, I just wanted to film that because I thought it looked really good. So uh, I'd better go back and do some work. Well, it's Saturday morning. Look at that. Paul has been, uh, once again, working extremely hard to get this uh, tea room done. But that looks smart. And the surprising thing is, these tiles actually work out no difference in price to the lino that we originally had planned on doing. Um, all it's taken is just a little bit more Paul's time. But the end result is this will last. This actually would be less time. Probably has, I suppose. Yeah. Because one cut and it's messed up. Yes. Yeah. So no, what a, what a cracking job. Now there will be the people on on face on sorry. There, there will be the people on YouTube that have commented before that oh we should get professionals to do this job. We should like, like painting the walls. That's a professional man's job. You're a professional, aren't you, Paul? Even though I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> but look at that. That's he's done a good job of that. Under the worktops as well. Fridge is going in there. What a good job. There we go. So if anybody wants their tiling done at home, don't give Paul the ring because I've got far too much room to do. So uh, but look at that. Perfect job. Proper job. So Gary's here on Saturday morning as well. Trying to get ready for Monday. Trying to get in front. Lots to do. Lots to do. We've got a telly and a bucket here that's uh, come back from hire. And so the corner pulled out of it, so a bit cut out of it to be straightened out. But uh, we're not quite in the we're not quite in the league of world of Faber, that's for sure. But we'll make that good. We'll make that strong again. So uh, here's the wheels that Gary painted. All done. All ready to go in the racks. Enjoying the. Uh, the other ones we have there. There's such a variation of them. You'd be you'd be amazed at the, the amount of variation, four stud, five stud width. So the amount of wheels and tires we have to have is quite 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 a lot. So uh, there we go. Saturday afternoon, doing some diggering. Um, as I think we said earlier, one of my videos earlier on this year, we've got a new farmhouse being built. And it's going here. This is where the farmhouse is going. And uh, we're hoping when it's done, we'll look out across those lovely views there and the pond. So, uh, yeah, be nice to get it done. Um, Fritchings are going in this week. The firm coming in to start building this week. So, we've got to make room for concrete lorries. Now, that's not cheap, are we pouring concrete, is it? When we worked out how much we need. Um, hmm. That's a lot of fun thing. So we're gonna have a concrete pump here as well. So more of that will follow in the videos to come, we hope. 
So at the moment, I'm busy um, clearing up with the other low tops all tip here. And in, in the worst of the weather, we had some bit bad flood. Um, we had to dig a trench to drain some water away. So we're sort of battling that now. See here, we're getting all put a, trying to put a bit of an access road in. So uh, using a JS 130, nice machine, good machine. We want to get it done. We've got a customer wants to hire this, so we've got to get it, try and get it done, get it sorted. So uh, plenty to do. Quite like doing the digger, digger work. Um, as any of you know my history, I've spent a lot of time as a young, as a teenager, driving JCB 36s and diggers. So I actually find this quite therapeutic. I, I quite enjoy it. I don't find it too taxing, and um, it's quite enjoyable, really. A bit of escapism from the. Um, the stresses of life, possibly. Escapism from the stresses of life. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, so. Uh, there we go, that looks a lot better, a lot tidier. We can get concrete lorries in now and builders, motion lorries, etc. in. So, uh, I quite enjoy doing stuff like that. So, there's the new road, it's in. Tied it up. We can now get the lorries in here quite easily. Um, another house here, we've just got to get on and build when we get a minute. But the, uh, all around the outside of that house is all hard, and all I'm standing on now is all hard court. So, we're just all ready now to uh, dig a big set of footings here and uh, get the house underway. Exciting times, I think. Well, thanks for watching my video. Another random one, sorry about that. Um, Please click and subscribe. It makes it like I say we're overwhelmed. The amount of the, the, view, the viewers and the um, subscriptions are growing. So thank you everybody who watches our videos. It does mean a lot. Thank you for all the lovely comments we get. Please keep the comments coming. It does mean an awful lot to me. Um, it, 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 it truly does. So thank you for watching. Please click and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.